Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you're well from whatever you're watching this channel. I'd like to start this session by appreciating you so much for making this channel grow. If you wish to support us, just subscribe to our channel and give this video a like. <laughs> William Ruto had today visited Dagoretti for a church session and during that meeting William Ruto took the opportunity to talk about what Kenyans have been crying regarding the university fees. When the university to make one be a little 25 on a lady ya kupatia yule mtoto wa nyumba ya chini 100% scholarship na yendele shule. Tunaelewana jameni badala ya kujidanganya kama wa Kenya ya kwamba tunaweza kusomesha watoto wote university alafu university wakienda hakuna masomo wale walimu wa university wajalipwa hakuna equipment tuko na madeni kule university ndio tukasema we need to cut our clothes the size of what we can afford so ruto took that opportunity to speak the truth you see, I, I could see, I could, I could tell that from what he was saying, uh, because he said that badala ya kusema tutaweza somesha watoto wote university. You know? Badala ya kusema tutaweza somesha watoto wote university. Wacha to somesha the, way, the, the ones you can. I mean, this is a major shift from what he promised last year. Yeah. Yeah, what he promised last year was free university for all. But he has spoken the truth in that church session and said that badala ya kusema tutaweza. And uh, I realized that this is a major shift from his earlier position. But this is just one of those positions that he had last year and he has changed this year. And he talked about telling people that ile manifesto tuliandika si ile ile karatasi ile manifesto ni manifesto ni for real mama mboga mwenye mapato yake ni shilingi 1400 tunataka awe na nyumba anaweza kupat, kupatiwa nyumba kwa hii housing plan mtu ya boda boda apatiwe nyumba alipe shilingi 1300 ama 1400 kila mwezi baada ya miaka 15 hiyo nyumba inakuwa yako so if you go back to that manifesto regarding education you know, because regarding the education sector, then you realize that whatever he said in that church session and whatever he said last year are totally different. Last year, the debate was education for all. You know, as long as you make it to university, education is available for all. So while defending his point, I realized that he made a mistake, small mistake. Because somewhere there, William Muru talks about <laughs> saying that Kenyans have been paying 200,000, I think, per term for secondary schools. That one they could afford. But he also goes further to say Kenyans are now saying they cannot pay 25,000 per semester. You see, the truth of the matter is that it is not 25,000 per semester. That's going by what uh, we have seen on the ground, unless the government has decided to now lower back, to lower down, lower the price, the, the fees, the university fees. But last time I checked, the fees were almost three times what he has said. You know, it's not 25,000. But that's what he has said, it's 25,000. So let's just imagine that it is, it's indeed 25,000. But then, there is this other statement where he talks about 200,000 for a uh, you know, for fees fees for secondary school uh, secondary school so i'm just trying to imagine a normal parent who pays 200,000 for school fees so you have to pay 200,000 for school fees per term in one year you'll be paying 600,000 so in 4 years you will be paying 2.4 million to educate your child I don't know whether where William Ruto took, where he got these statistics from, but the truth of the matter is that people have not been paying 200,000 for school fees, 
the truth of the matter is that some people have been surviving surviving on bursaries and the truth of the matter is that some people have been surviving on well wishes so this 20000 where it came from I, I don't know I'm, I'm also shocked and i believe you're also shocked but that's what he said so throughout the speech he also went further to say that uh, he is planning to introduce ICT hubs in each and every ward. Jana watakoreti muko? Jana watakoreti muko? Eh, muende musome manifesto ile tuliandika. Haikuwa ni kartasi ama gazeti ni kutekeleza mambo ya serikali. Iyo ICT hub ambayo iko kwa manifesto yetu tunataka vijana 3400 tuwaweke pale, tutaweka vifaa, tutaweka kompyuta na tutahakikisha ya kwamba vijana wetu mbali na kujifunza mambo ya kompyuta tutawapanga na ajira not constituency but word which is also a very good move if at all he keeps his promise because mind you you know many people have been saying that William Ruto hardly keeps the promises he makes so let's just say that these promises he made there one actually let's say one promise because from the clip i only heard of one promise and the rest of the sessions of that clip that, that, that I play in a short while, he was merely trying to defend himself against accusations of the public. Even went to an extent of saying, so that is to mean that he is going to deal with all these issues and by the time he's done with all these issues the naysayers watanyamaza and who are the naysayers i believe personally the naysayers are the normal kenyan citizens who are finding it pretty rough to make to make ends meet the Kenyan naysayers who are to told that Wata Nyamaza can hardly make ends meet. And that is explained in so many other videos that we've come across online everywhere. You know, people sharing their sentiments regarding the high cost of living. So all those videos you've come across, they speak to the same, same language. The high cost of living should be reduced. So if those are the people William Ruto is saying, they are like political naysayers, then I think those are the people he's talking about. But personally, I think these people are just being uh, truthful. Because who is the kama swala la ukweli kama ujaangaika? You see? So these statistics, where he gets them from, Kenyans don't pay 200,000 for school fees per term. Some go to an extent of not even paying. Some pay 200, I mean 2,000 for meals. Because males are paid for. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to raise my question. But what do you think about this statement from William Bruto? Just tell us what you think about that below on the comment section. And also, those people who are not subscribed to this channel, I'd like to kindly request you to subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like and don't forget to hit the notification bell. It's so important because if you do that, this video will always be shared anytime we upload. So to those people who have supported us, I want to say here that I'm forever grateful for that support because without you, this channel cannot grow. So until you catch up again, stay safe and stay blessed.